Okay. Now that describes what our topic today. <laughs> no strings attached. On the next episode of Feeling Sisters. First things first, that we, we, oh, we can talk about dating because this is going to be a very uh, interesting topic. We were thinking about it's like, like there's so many sides into dating. Um, and how it has evolved and how it has changed. Now, this is like this is not one of those stories where happily ever after, uh, happily ever after happens, right? Um, my story uh, is like I I got engaged to Tinder. Yes, this is one of those stories. Was like, oh my god, you know, and it, it was it was amazing. It was good and everything. But of course, the app can get you through. The app can get you there. Okay. This whole modern age of dating. Tune in every Sunday to Eat, Read, Love for new episodes. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, before we start, if you are already familiar with the channel, you are more than welcome to go right away to the reading. Now, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And I'm just gonna explain to you guys how it works over here. Now, how it works is this is not Burger King. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> now, I joke a lot here, okay? So, <laughs> that's one thing also. I sing. I, I have fun in, in what I do. So, if you're not a person who's happy and like that, then this might not be the child for you. <laughs> okay. Now, the announcement here. Um, all, the, all the things that you need is going to be in the description box. And, of course, uh, uh, this channel has um, extended one and extended two. This reading might not resonate with you, so chances are the next reading will be for you. Um, it's the second one, extended two, we call it. And all the way at the end is the extended preview. Now, the extended preview is a continuation of this reading, okay? And you can catch it all the way at the end. And then what else? We have all our classes available for download in the description box. From planets to learning tarot with me. So check it, it's also in the it's also down there. Um, what else? Uh, the webinar for March 21 and 28. Um, so make sure you uh, you already familiarize with that one because that's the only thing that we are right now having a class with. It's for the entrepreneur. It's for people who wants to start a YouTube channel or a metaphysical business. Um, but this is going to be related for Saturn and Capricorn, Jupiter and Sag and Mercury. You know, like this basically all this placement is... Um, um, fortifying right now um, people who wants to have a business but this is not for people who still hustling in their sixth house which is their nine to five so it's gonna be for a very few select so these are you know normally like these people already know who they are and they have a vision on how to deliver it but you just don't know where to start well I will tell you what not to do and what you should do because I've learned the hard way and you can escape those hard way by basically learning with me 21 and uh, 28 and it's gonna be in the description box also for the webinar now I feel like let me see anything else I'll uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram also because in the Instagram um, like I do post there some transit like uh, the other day I post some um, astrology transit in IG story um, so I'll be more active also in Instagram with regards to transit because it's easy for me to just give out the messages right there and I'll be discussing some nakshatra over there with the moon because it does take time for, you know, if, if, it, if we upload it in YouTube. So um, yesterday I was discussing about, um, you know, um, Venus exalted in Pisces and once it goes to Revati, which is like somewhere around the 27 degrees, the last nakshatra, you know, finding unconditional love. So that was the topic yesterday. So there's going to be a lot in Instagram, in IG story and it, uh, you know, so it's uh, it would be delivered messages, um, you know, ideally regularly because I, I feel like it's easier for me to just get into my phone and then upload it there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's a Sal Piedora, okay? And I think that's it. So no more reading since the announcement is so long. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. So now let's go to your reading. Bye, guys. All right, Virgo. So let's begin your reading. Um, I sense here, uh, Virgo, um, a big investment. Um, let me see. Uh, I feel like this investment will have a long term uh, it's a long term investment but it's like you know the the coins does roll over okay uh, it also is connected to your life so I'm not sure what that means but it's an investment that may be connected to other people's life but it's long term I don't know what that means. <laughs> but it assures you, like, for example, all the way to your retirement. You understand me? I sense it here. Because um, it, it's like it's extending people's, uh, like, 
either you're ex it's extending it's in helping people mm -hmm. so if you help people then the universe basically um, you know is doing the same thing for you mm -hmm. let's see oh, I, I love that I love 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 mm -hmm. let me see what's on the phone with the Virgos okay. let's see what else here Someone here wants to open a nursery. Can be for plants or for kids. I don't know. <laughs> plants or kids. Oh, let's see. Um, uh, someone here wants to go on a trip, but more of a mountain trip. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm sensing. Let's see. Ooh, okay, here we go. Um, two of Wands. Uh, you're not dating. <laughs> It's like, like right away, this is what I can feel. Uh, either you're not dating, but someone is not dating. Because uh, you have picked someone. I pick you and there's no other person that I will be uh, dating. Okay, and this can be them. Um, but I sense them uh, rushing. Okay. So it's like your determination, um, not that you're not not dating, it's almost like you're just being stubborn with the two of ones, I feel, or they're being stubborn about um, really seeing that, no, this is the person that I want in my life. So um, basically, what's the use? You know, what's the use of other people? Two of ones. Now, someone can also be like uh, watching you. That's a two of ones. And they're seeing that's like, no, I just want to be with the Virgo also. Because this is a long, long, uh, long distance relationship, but I really, I feel like really someone is gonna rush to make it happen. No movement right now, yes, um, but they could just be thinking right now before they uh, they make that move. Because there's still the three, the three of ones after this. Now number two is a crossroad, so um, you again, but the decision has been made because one person is this person is already holding the wand. And they choose one person. Hmm. Strength card. Okay. See, I told you, being stubborn. Um, this energy uh, would show that you're trying to... It can be them trying to force you. Okay. Someone here is being forced to open up. But the force is different with the Empress card. This is the whole, well, I'm going to show you more care and more love than anyone else. And the more understanding that I am with you, the more that you will feel like, you know, it's like you're trying to disarm the savage lion over here. So the only way that you can win a lion's heart, basically, is just by seeing, you know, showing compassion or else the other person becomes more beast, uh, beastly. Mm -hmm. So you're learning that if I just go against this person right now, it's not going to work out in your favor. Um, if they're asking me to be patient, then I'll be patient. Because, um, you know, being compassionate to the person is, uh, uh, you know, it's like you, you, you could also be like sympathizing with them. You know, it's like you're giving this person way so much room. Um, and it's not like a temperance, you're being patient. You're giving them that space is what I'm sensing here. It's a beast. It's a beast. Uh. Eight of Wands. So, this only shows that, you know, like they can be far from you. Messages of travel, you know, long distance relationship is here. Eight of Wands with the Strength card. Um, this shows uh, progress um, through spirituality, also, Eight of Wands. I sense here that you are fighting for this connection and you've told this person already um, that you're always going to be there or they have told you this um, because that messages is like, you know, it's like, of course, it's like one after the other and you felt bound also by, you felt bound to be honest. You wanted them to really see the truth in you that it's not like, oh, I, I just want to have a partnership or relationship and you're my emperor. You show this person, I don't care who you are or whatever you're, you are, but I do have strong uh, feelings. Mm -hmm. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Let's see. 
Now next to the Eight of Wands, we have your Four of Cups. Okay. So the person is really as stubborn as if, okay? Because they have things here. I don't like the Four of Cups sometimes because it is for me, it's an opportunist, meaning they're thinking that they can be happy with these cups, but there's an offer of love. But sometimes there's also, this person is also the energy of I'm stable, leaning in this, in this tree. And, you know, it's like no matter, you know, love does not make me stable. You understand me? I make myself stable. Now that's difficult. That's, that, ah, that's difficult. Um, and if they're looking at the Three of Cups here, it only shows that this person is, is uh, stuck on the past. Can be in different relationship or things that makes them happy. Let's just say, for example, it makes them happy to be a bachelor. Then that's their thing here. There's a Three of Cups or a bachelorette. And that's why they cannot see love as something that will make them change. Fours are stubborn. Or you're not giving up though. You show this person. You have feelings. You have love. Ones is desire. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Nine of Wands. It's almost like you guys have mirroring energy with the Capricorn. Um, someone doubts relationship here. I don't know. I mean, is their life that good? <laughs> because it's just like, I mean, relationship is a challenge. But if there's so much things that this person is pushing away, then their life must be so good that they don't want anything to, you know, to make them off balance. But in reality, their life is not the best. I don't think so. Especially nine of ones with the four of cups. This person needs a lot of time to heal. Mm -hmm. Underneath the strength, we got a queen of cups. So you're using your intuition here. It can be concerned, of course. You're using uh, your emotion and feelings, meaning you're, you're, you're showing this person like, you know, love can win anything. Like, and it does. It does, l love wins, but it does not get you a commitment. Love is love. Commitment is a partnership. It's binding. It's an action. It's contract. Love is love. It's a feeling inside. Once you make it into action to put together, that's commitment. Totally different. We can be in love with a lot of people, but you're not committed to everyone, correct? Um... This is showing that it's like, well, no, love will win. Love will win. All right, well, if you say so. <laughs> but I'm just defining for you what is commitment. Commitment is totally different. Agreement is a commitment. I do this, you do that. Mm -hmm. Underneath the eight of wands is a devil. Ooh, spicy. Now you're obsessive. Or they're obsessive. Mm -hmm. I want you and see... That's, that's the shady part of love, when you cannot control it. Eight of Wands, someone here has so much desire. Underneath the Four of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. So the way that it works here, you're counting that this person will change their mind. Four of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. At some point, they will see the potential of the connection, but you are relentless. You're not going to stop. Even messaging this person or talking to them or giving them that open arms, I sense that you are going to be uh, still... Um, pursuing them, vice versa. All right, so let me continue this all the way in the extended preview. Follow me there at the end. Also, if you just want to jump, everything is in the description box. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Virgos. Bye. Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. What did you guys just see? Yeah, it's a love grid. Because I, I was telling my producers that I wanted to air something special. And it's all about my Virgos being in love. And I wanted to wear something also special for all the Zodiacs. Yeah, so I'm doing a little number over here. <laughs> so if you guys don't have a date, it's me. I'll take you out. Let's go for some tacos. Who likes tacos? <laughs> oh, I know what that means. Okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Uh, let's see what's going on for you guys. Is my Virgos. Let's see here. Virgos. 14 to the 15. For people celebrating the V-Day. Happy V-Day. Here we go. Let's begin. Eight of Wands, that fast, that was fast. 
that was fast. How fast? Okay. Good in the start. You know, this is, mm, sorry. This is someone who likes to start and then just vanish. You got ghosted. Okay. <laughs> it's like, Sal, it was like date after date after date, you know, text after text after text. Very, very good. And then all of a sudden it shifted. All of a sudden, Sal, it was just like, I don't know what happened, Sal. They, not that they ghosted, can be also like, it just started to trickle down and it's almost less like it becomes from, you know, from getting three texts a day, you got like now two and then you get one and a half because the one and a half is like, you saw the one message and there's dit 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 and then it never got sent. So that's the one and a half message. I call it as one and a half. Okay. So it's becoming less and less, but this can be also, okay, Virgo started out fast and then just, you know. Let me see here, next to the eight of wands. High priestess, yeah, that's you. I mean, I mean, that's you getting some sort of like a shutdown, not talking to you, unresponsive. When they're unresponsive, sometimes I don't know if they're dead. You know, it's like, are you dead? Because your phone is not, you have a battery. It says delivered, okay? So don't give me that if you're an iPhone, okay? <laughs> it says delivered, okay? The phone is dead, I understand, but are you, okay? Because this is a person who right now is look. I feel like this person, okay, a little bit stalkerish, Virgo, if they're not talking to you. They're watching your social media. They're watching what you do. And when they're not, this is when they're not talking to you. They're watching you. Okay. Are they creepy? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> see. Let me see. Let me see if I'm a Virgo today. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Ace of Cups. So they've been watching you, observing you, and out of, out of blue, okay, high priestess, they speak the language of love, okay? Meaning, they're not going to tell it, but they probably will sing to you, will give you a song. Sing, sing a song. It's <laughs> a cups, okay? Because the language of love, isn't it? It's music or dance. I'm not sure, but it's not the words. But there's a language of love that this person will show to you. It means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. And then next to the high priestess, let me see here. Nine of wands. Wow, totally. Okay. I'm um, letting their guards down. So are they a long hair person? Because that's wrap and seal right there. Okay. Let your guard down. Okay, someone here just recently got a haircut at the same time and they're looking at themselves in the mirror. It's like, hmm, should I really gone for a pixie cut? Because I had like six inches of hair, now I'm pixie. <laughs> Regret only comes okay, <laughs> later <laughs> with the pixie cut. Because <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that one I feel. But this is about showing your vulnerability. Okay, anytime. Okay. I feel like it's this. This is this energy. So I let you. I let you understand your own energy. Every time you show your nape to a person or to a guy or to whoever, this is you. You allowing a person in your life. It's like you're letting your guards down. You're becoming more vulnerable. So if this person or you has some sort something about neck, it's about vulnerability. Okay. This person is being vulnerable now. Okay. From eight to the nine of wands. Okay. It happens. You gotta get a closure on this person. I feel like they will express their feelings. Under with the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. That's what's going, 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 going. Okay, this is expression. Ace to the Queen, it's always the action for me. And Eight of Wands. You're going to get a lot of love messages from this person. This person has, I feel like it's either you or them. I don't predict that. But, you know, they're, I, I think that um, someone has passed away a long time ago. Like their parents, you know, their mom or their dad. Like they're, you know, there's they're those uh, people who doesn't have either a dad or a mom or something like that. Okay, if not, okay, this person always thinks of their grandma. Okay, that's that one. Nine of Wands with a High Priestess. Queen of Swords. Wow, outspoken all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. So how is that? What did they find out when they were looking at you? Because they were really analyzing you like, like, okay, did, 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 did. or you could have done this to this person. And then that's, that's when they realized... Because this is 100% effort that you will see from this person. Two queens can be same sex, of course. But I feel like it's about them. It's like, okay, I'm done with my quiet zone. I'm done thinking. And it's for me to show this person how much I love them. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let me see what the girl is saying from my Virgos. Is the girl... 
Let me see here. We got, oh wow, that's good. Let the soulmate grow, grow without you. When they were in the silent mode, they've seen your potential or you've seen their potential and you allowed space, okay? It's very important when you meet someone who you feel that you have karmic connection with to give them some sort of breathing space because the soul is... Imagine like the soul is getting some sort of, I don't know, like steroids. You feel it, they feel it, and then if you keep interacting, okay, because this is the natural way of dealing, I mean natural meaning you get attached, and then the soul is going to its transformation, it becomes difficult for you and for them because you're also just learning who you are because a lot of purging happens. So letting them be first, letting them go, and then coming back again. That's why when, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only coach who says this, like when there's separation, that's where the growth happens, not when you guys are together. Because at some point, the, the, the soul will connect again, but it's not for you to hold on. So let them grow, okay? Grow without you first, all right? So, I'm going to continue this reading as someone comes to your life and this time they stay with the Ace of Cups because they love you, okay? And their guard is down now after they have isolated themselves from you. Link down there in the description box for the extended read and at the same time, for your best friend, your girl, comes in Golden Diamond. Or at the same time, my meetup is on February 23rd. Only a few spots left. It's a small intimate group that I will be um, interacting with and having a talk. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Virgos. I'll see you again. Bye. Four of Pentacles. Are you really connecting with the Capricorn? Because the Capricorn had someone who Never. was... Um, you're not showing them that oh, you know it's like you really really want them oh i like it temperance and you said i'm being patient that's good underneath the devil ace of swords good good good